I'm Stephanie, I'm senior from SCUT. I like your work! <laughs> and this poem is called Fort Hartsif. We're here at my father's request. Something about this place interests him. The old buildings, or the history, or maybe just the fact that it relates to the military. It's not much. A square courtyard, a flagpole in the middle, buildings along the edges, barracks, stable, commander's house, kitchen. We walk in through the gift shop slash gatehouse slash museum. Little placards sit on desks and hang on walls. They read dates, descriptions. The fort served as a buffer between settlers and Native Americans. The walls are lined with shelves full of books by Nebraskan authors, people this forgotten flyover state are proud of. Willa Cather, Mari Sandos, John Nyhart, they wrote about strength about the beauty of the fields, about the people who lived on the land, about peace. How ironic. It's hard to enjoy a place like this, a place where the air hangs heavy with the kind of significance people do not celebrate, a place with history many would rather forget. And as we move through the perimeter of the courtyard, into and out of buildings that strangers once shared like family, I can't help but feel uncomfortable. Lines of beds run along the wall, my fingers trace their frames, and I wonder what kind of men must have slept here. Were they good men? Men who would go home after their service to wives and daughters and sons. Sons who would grow to fit their father's shoes but not quite fill them. Sons who would not want to fill them. Were they men who knew the acts they committed would one day be looked upon warily, avoided in conversation, applauded by old men but scoffed at by children? Because how could killing be understood? How are orders to kill just orders? Were they men who understood? Were they tr men who truly were filled with hate? Or were they men who had no clue? Men who lost themselves in the work of it all to ignore the voices in the back of their heads, the voices they heard screaming on the other end of the field? Or were they men who prayed to God with every shot they fired? Did they lock eyes with the boy across the battlefield? Did they think of home of their own children? Were they men who thought, dear God, let it end? Were they men who thought nothing at all? Do we think of nothing at all when we stare at this courtyard, when we glorify these places of massacre. The dead are lying in the fields. The dead we do not acknowledge. The dead we refuse to acknowledge. What is so different about their blood? What is so different about their deaths? The grass boils hot in the summer heat, and in the shimmer of the sun ablaze, I swear I can see a man standing, shaking. I see his hands tighten. I see his fingers tremor. I see him fire. His thoughts forever lost to the blood-soaked grass. Thank you.